Yesterday, the opposition spoke about the Barossaland issue. And maybe that is the main reason why we called you colleagues today. That ever since this issue of Barossaland came on board and took center stage of national debate in this country, as government, we have not pronounced ourselves. And in lieu of that, What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jayku. Speculation has crept in. And all manner of assertions are being promulgated. Let me, on the behalf of government now, place on record that the government Republic of Zambia of the new Dawn administration is fully conscious of the Barossaland issue and pertaining to and in respect with the current debate over the Barossaland issue, the new Dawn administration has opted for quiet diplomacy given that government attaches great importance and respect to traditional leadership. The government believes that when there is an issue of national importance, you cannot resolve such a matter through press conferences or through media engagements. And so the nation should be informed that their government has elected quiet diplomacy, looking for a win-win situation. There is no chaos in this country. There is no anarchy in this country. There is no division in this country arising out of the Barossaland issue. The proponents that there is division in this country arising out of the Barossaland issue are proponents of despondency. There is peace throughout this country. And a region called Barossaland is living harmoniously with the rest of the regions of the country called Zambia. So, we call upon the opposition not to be this opportunistic, even to the extent and at the expense of national unity and peace for the country. There should be no requirement that we as a country should begin to make a distress call to the African Union and or to the UN over the Barossaland issue. Because the Barossaland issue or question is a national question which is within the purview of the citizens of this country to be able to resolve. We have not reached a stage where this particular issue has brought discord in the country. We have not reached a stage where this particular issue has brought anarchy in the country. We have not yet reached a stage where this particular issue has brought division in the country. We are not there. I would like to reiterate here the position of government that Zambia, in accordance with the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia, remains a unitary state as by law presently subsisting 
or in force. The Constitution of the Republic of Zambia, in terms of Article 1, provides that this Constitution is the supreme law of the Republic of Zambia and any written law, customary law, and customary practice that is inconsistent with its provisions is void to the extent of the inconsistency. In Article 1.3, the Constitution provides that this Constitution shall bind all persons in Zambia, state organs, and state institutions. It further states that the people of Zambia resolve that Zambia shall remain a unitary, multi-party, and democratic sovereign state. This is the Constitution. So when President H.H. says there is no country called Barossiland, he does not mean there is no Barossiland. Barossiland is there. It was there before independence. It is here after independence. It shall continue to exist as Barossiland, a region in Zambia. We are wondering why even this should bring consternation to the country. Because Barossiland existed as a British protectorate before independence, just like Northern Rhodesia existed as a British protectorate before independence. None of the two states were countries. As far as information within my possession is concerned. But these two regions amalgamated to form a country called Zambia. So if those who belonged to North, Northern Rhodesia are told that there is no country called Northern Rhodesia, why should politicians begin to run circles around? No, how can you say there is no Northern Rhodesia? Don't you know that we made an agreement to form Zambia? The question is, was there a country called Northern Rhodesia? The answer is no. So if someone says there, was no Northern, there is no country called Northern Rhodesia in Zambia, why should that be an issue of debate? Simple. And I would like here to reaffirm the position of government that President H.H. sought to defend the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia. And for as long as he is president, superintending over the affairs of this country under the current Constitution, he shall be mandated and obligated by law to defend the unitary state of a country called Zambia. That's the position of government. There should be no debate. This has nothing to do with disrespecting the BRI. Far from it. After all, President H.H. is a son to the Dutunga. So how can he disown his own father? For those who want to make political mileage out of this. How can President H.H. disown the Ritunga, his own father? But the law is clear. In Zambia, there is only one country. Made out of ten provinces. As by law established. Now, it, it must be understood here very clearly that 
The Constitution is what binds us together. All of us have surrendered our individual sovereignty into this calabash called the Constitution to ensure that only that which as a community of people agree on will take precedence be before our individual preferences. So the president sought to defend the Constitution. But the Constitution in itself is a creature of the citizens of this country. And it is not cast in stone, meaning it can be amended, it can be repealed, and if at a particular time citizens will decide that we want to make this country divisible, because it is currently unitary and indivisible, we want to make it divisible. Those who belong to Northern Rhodesia at the time of independence want their own territory. They will choose a name for it. Maybe they will say Northern Rhodesia country. It is in the hands of the citizens of this country, not in the hands of President HH or New Dawn administration, no. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the source. Don't forget to subscribe to JQ. That is why the Constitution says, we the people.